I'm in Costa Rica. I brought my equipment, I brought my experience, and now I'm excited to go do this. Let's go see what Costa Rica has to offer. Shortly after arriving in Costa Rica and unpacking our bags, we headed to Parita. Here we made our first visit to the Rainmaker Forest Reserve. We were pretty much the only ones there and we arrived kind of late in the day. So we had just arrived in time to catch lunch and then the staff packed it up and they left for the day. We figured it would be best to walk the trail in the daylight so we could get our bearings, figuring that once it got dark, we'd be heading out again for sure. It was a beautiful trail, meandered around flowing water and waterfalls, and it led us into a lush jungle hillside. On the way back down, we found a large pond, and we figured that would be a great spot for amphibians and whatever else that may come to hunt them. As we were getting back off the trail, it just started to rain, and we figured that'd be a really good primer for what we would find that night. First snake of the night. One-headed tree snake right here. There we go. Let go. Look at this little guy. Really slender body, perfect adaptation for going through these really thin branches. Huge eyes, obviously nocturnal. It rained this afternoon, so the frogs are out. You can hear them calling in the background. So this guy is really active, checking it all out. Really beautiful little guy. I wanted to be real careful getting him down because it's also a very fragile animal. Let's see if I can get the head to the camera here. See those big eyes. And there you have it. First snake of the night. We're only like five minutes into this into this night trek. So let this guy put him exactly right where I found him. Go on about your business, little guy. Happy hunting. There he is, let's go get more. Fantastic night again. We're just hitting them. The eyelash viper right up here. It's a green, green colored animal. It's got a little bit of model pattern on it. You can see the eyelashes protruding up on the, above the eyes there. Just sitting up there hunting in ambush mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy down. Let's see if I can get him to let go of the branch there. There we go. Have to be a little bit careful with these guys. As you saw when I try to get it down, they sometimes will take almost like a lunging defensive bite. So they can actually be a little bit dangerous, but as long as you're gentle and make slow, deliberate moves, that animal's not going to be too bad to deal with. But what a beautiful snake. Just a perfect coloration. Just to match up on these branches and leaves. Check that out. And I'm hoping that it's camera's picking up the eyelashes there. Really beautiful. 
So I can tell already this is going to be a good night. Again, we're just a few minutes into this trek and already second species of snake. This one is obviously venomous, so we're going to handle this one with a little bit of care. Big giant head, big offset arrow shaped head. Oh, I'm stoked. This is awesome. This is a first for me in the wild. They come in a lot of different colors. So we'll let, get this guy back on its way. Maybe we can find the rest of the colors and a few more animals. Awesome night. Fantastic. third species of snake here tonight. This is called a coffee banded snake. It's really small. It's moving along this little slope right here. It's a very small little snake. It's got a little bit of a, of a ring behind its head. It's not venomous. Here we go. And again, I don't want to hurt it. It's very small. I want to be as gentle as possible. And here it is here. What a cool looking little snake. It has a really nice banded pattern. It starts kind of bold up at the head. And then as it gets down towards the tail, it just sort of fades out. The little pin, pin bands and then, and then down to nothing. It's nocturnal, it's just another snake that's out cruising tonight, looking for some food. This is another first for me. This is really cool. It's very, it's very um, keeled. It has, definitely has like a triangular shape to it. I can feel it as it moves through my hands. Wow, that is really neat looking. And there you have it. Coffee banded snake. Nice. It's right here moving along this branch. It's another very thin, fragile snake. And I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt him here. Back up. There you go. Back up. Same body type, same structure. It's arboreal, really light, very, very well suited for navigating through these little vines and, and trees. How's that? Man, that's a beautiful little snake. So fragile, but so well suited for this environment. And that's a blunt headed snake. It's got that short little blunt head, obviously, big eyes, nocturnal, non-venomous of course. There's a red-eyed tree frog over here, Let's see if I can get it. We're right on the edge of a of a pond. If Costa Rica had a national frog, this would be it. This one's on all the t-shirts and wood carvings and everything else. But that's the red-eyed tree frog.
This one doesn't have the blue in between, the little ribbing pattern on the side, like some of the others from other, uh, other locales here in Costa Rica. But how's that? Look at those big red eyes. All right, very cool. Red-eyed tree frog here in Costa Rica. There you go, bud. I have a cat-eyed snake right here, right on this leaf. You have to be a little bit careful with these guys. Their pattern somewhat resembles that of a fertilance, but this one is not. It's a cat-eyed snake. It's not venomous. And here he is here. He's just sitting on the leaf, hoping that a frog meanders by. A little bit more fired up than uh, some of the other snakes that we've had tonight. And a little bit more bulky too. It's not quite as thin-bodied and uh, frail like some of the other guys for climbing and that, but it's a cat-eyed snake. Really beautiful pattern. There's so many nocturnal snakes here in Costa Rica. Nice. Pretty good night. No complaints from me. Another cat eyed snake right here. It's a little bit bigger than the last one. Not by much, but a little bit. And I can feel, I can feel a frog in its belly. You can kind of see it right there, the shape of the frog. So he's not really hunting, he's just kind of chilling. Probably just ate it this evening, so just gonna sit back and digest. All right, cool, man. There's a lot of, a lot of snakes out tonight. And again, you can hear all those frogs in the background. So the hunt is on. They're hunting, we're hunting. <laughs> that was a good night. So many of the animals are very cryptic. Right here on this leaf is a gladiator frog. It changes colors a little bit from night to day and with the temperature a little bit. This one's sleeping. It's a nocturnal animal. His eyes are closed and he's kind of faded out. It wasn't too hard to find though. He's faded out a lot lighter than the color of this leaf. But what a great find. So beautiful.